so now we have January done and now we're gonna pull out the February and we have for February this beautiful 12 by 12 paper um, and we have the front and back so we have to decide which side we want to go with um, and then we have our little ephemera page and on this we're gonna be cutting this one of course this one here the word February and probably some of these little tags and stuff like that so I definitely know we're gonna cut these be mine and how I love you and then you're gonna need two pieces of black cardstock or whatever color cardstock you're using that is four and a quarter by four and a quarter that is for these little frames you need two of those and then you'll need one piece that is four and a quarter by four and seven eighth and that is so that you can mount this one here to go there okay so let's do that and we'll be back once we've cut all these up okay so i apologize i am having such horrible time with this whole um setup with this camera and the apple computer okay so here's my little flap i've already attached it i thought i was recording it so what i did here is i've cut a piece of uh, cardstock that was four inches by five and three quarters so four inch by five and three quarters and I scored it at the five and a quarter mark and it gave me my flap I attached a piece of score tape and I aligned it flush to my matting here okay so it's flushed along that matting then I took a piece of the decorative paper and in this case I'm using piece of cardstock that's about the color of this because it's, I ran out of the other paper <coughs> and I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch so I'm going to make a little line here that's about an eighth there and then I can see it over here um, and I'm going to make another little mark about an eighth of an inch and I'm going to take it to the paper cutter and I'm going to make a little line aligning those pieces together and I'm going to trim it right there okay when my paper trimmer is not going to act up this time um, because this paper is so thick or this cardstock that's better okay so now if I put it here it should perfectly align um, like so like that so then we have that there okay and go ahead and I'm probably going to use um, because this paper is really really thick it's a card stock that I had here in my stash so it kind of co coordinates with this color I'm going to bring this closer to me because I can't see too well with the lighting. So we're going to bring it in and yeah, an eighth of an inch. That's perfect. Okay. And burnish that in. Okay. And so what I had, this little scrap here from all the little trimmings, I cut it down to four inches. And I'm just going to squeeze that in there. it's just that little flap just like that and I should have put a little magnet but I didn't um, but that's all right but that's pretty much how it will look and I can take now um, these little pieces here remember we cut them down four and a quarter before and a quarter of cardstock and these are from the kit I've cut them down and I've matted them I've applied glue going down on the first mat 
leaving a U shape and these will tuck right inside there. squeeze in there but we'll get it in there all right and the same thing over here okay and I kind of left this one here so you can journal and as I was explaining I don't know if I was on that video or not but I've trimmed this entire piece um, in, um, and I meant to put it on the side like this one here, but I didn't. Um, again, was not thinking, um, but I would have wanted it on the side, so February's on the side. Um, but when I was matting, I totally spaced it out. So, um, it's kind of go that way. Uh, and so then, um, I have my little pockets here and again these are three and one eighth by five and a quarter and I've trimmed the piece of paper or a decorative piece that is two and seven eighth by five inches and then this one is one and seven eighth by five and a quarter and my little decorative piece will be one and five eighth by five inches and then this is from the collection. I've trimmed it down to five inches. One will go up here, like so, like that. And then the little um, postal stamps, I've cut it, um, four of them, exactly four, and I'm gonna center that just like so on top of that here, okay, like that. So let's go ahead and glue. I don't know how I managed to do that. I was not even thinking because I, I was like, I want those to be on the side. And, you know, oh, I don't even know why I'm doing that. Oh, I already started. Um, you know, my head is kind of groggy. Not thinking, not thinking, not thinking me. But if you're at home, you're watching me, you saw my boo-boo. Now I want you to guys to put your February, and I could probably go in with some um, undo, which probably will, because my OCD will probably get the best of me. Okay, so then we have this piece that we've trimmed down to five inches, and that's gonna lay right on top. And again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each side so that we have a little tuck spot. things that happens when you're creating you're not you're not thinking okay. and then over here cut these again one and five eight by five inches I'm not sure why I'm grabbing my fabric tack the whole camera situation has me all paranoid guys I'm paranoid this camera situation you think I'm like a newbie at recording, but I'm not. It's just a um, newbie with this camera. This camera in the Apple is not functioning right. And then we've cut the four little stamps and we could put a little dimension and I might just do that just to give it just a little bit of a there. so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dimensional tape um, and you can use some scrapped um, chipboard which I typically like to use um, when I'm doing this kind of stuff you know, we always have scrap chipboard if you're like me you're always messing with chipboard and I had to probably get my old, my old computer to record because 
I can tell that I'm not digging this whole apple set up. And I'm thinking that I am going to change that. My mind is telling me, you don't like that there, May. Why on earth are you leaving that there? That is not what you like. So we will probably change that. Um, before you know it, we will change that. All right, so let's center this on here. Make sure it's going in the right direction, May. May, May. All right, and there it is, centered in. Gives a little bit of a dimensional pop, and you can always use your laces as well. Um, you should have had some laces in your stuff that I've sent you um, as a little added bonus for those of you that ordered early. So then, again, we're gonna put that there, and I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac because it is heavy. You wanna use something that is strong hold when you're putting lots of layers because the last thing you want is for your stuff to fall apart after you've worked so hard. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. And push that in. And then, of course, the last pieces that we're always going to put are the little decorative pieces. You know, like if you have laces or doilies or anything like that that you want to add, um, by all means, add that in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and again. That's pretty much for February. We're almost done this February. Really did not realize how big of a, um, you know, should have thought. I didn't even really think about it when I ordered this kit that it was um, like a 12 month thing. Um, I was like, what did you do, May? You really weren't thinking this one through since you have to teach it. We will decorate more as we, you know, move on. You have all these little cards and tags that you can put twine or whatever. Put it in your little, um, you know. We'll probably put a little, um, a little something here, probably. Maybe I can tuck in a piece of or something to, or maybe just put a little um, pin like a little paper clip there that we have little tiny ones just you want to be able to put those in and then over here we could probably um, use this little guy here it's five inches wide so we could probably scoot this in like there and maybe use that as a little tuck spot as well oh i know i know what we have <laughs> and so aside from this here that we've got um i have this one that we've made see my mind wasn't thinking i knew i had to come up with another one so i am going to remove this one here um and have this little piece that I've come up with and that one does have magnets or like that so I'm gonna go get my um, undo 
and I'm just going to remove this one and move it around the other way. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken that one sheet that had the February. Instead of cutting it into two pieces, what I ended up doing is just sizing it up where my February is centered and as you can see, it is now five by five inches totally. So then I'm going to map that on to this piece here, like so. I'm going to go ahead and do that on camera. And it just made it a little bit easier instead of cutting those little pieces in and trying to, you know, place them down. So I just kind of sized it in. I went started off at six inch because February was a total of six inches and I went a quarter inch on this side and then I went a quarter inch on this size and then I just went in and kept doing eighth of an inch after the first qu uh, quarter inch on each side just kind of made it a little bit easier um, and I had wanted more of that so I'm gonna go ahead and place that down Really good. Okay, now we have that. Now on the rest of the pieces, I have cut two pieces of these of these uh, this cardstock four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and I cut the two pieces that were in the kit. Um, I just did that. Had it here, it'll pop up. Oh, it's lying here. Okay, so two of these little pieces, um, I've trimmed them down and I matted it on the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And I've cut all my little elements and um, embellishments from the February, and pretty much the same throughout with the mats and, and so forth. So if you're taking notes. Those little square pieces, because I think they're all the same for all the other months as well. Just make sure you cut your cardstock and size it for four and a quarter by four and a quarter for these little square ones, and they'll fit just perfectly right on top, just like so. Okay. All right, and then the other one that we had was this one here. We trimmed it down. And it is four inches wide by four and five eighth inch. And then remember, our black cardstock was four and a quarter by four and seven eighth. And that's going to mat right on top, like so. Okay. Move all those pieces and elements to the side. I'm trying to use as much as that collection as I can possibly use. Um, uh, Graphic 45 is very resourceful as far as they use it all. Um, they do a really good job. So it's kind of a maze on how they can actually use an entire 12 by 12 without having to go into another paper pack. Um, it's always normally my biggest worry or concern. Okay, so then we have this one here that we've cut. Again, our black cardstock is for uh, five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then our layered piece is five by five. And you can decide, do we want, I think we might want, because this is going to be laying on top of that. Yeah, so we're going to go with that. Well, 
this makes it easier to mat outside of your album. So then we're going to take this one, and this one's going to sit right like so. And again, remember I said we could uh, probably look at flipping it this way. We could do that. I'm not going to do it, but you can. And, oh, and I'm going to do heavier. That's a little bit heavy. So let's go with Fabri-Tac on that because this is thicker. Move again, let's center it in. Keep reminding myself to look at the screen because the angle of my camera puts me off. Okay. So we're going to do remember to hold. Um, let me move my album this way. Um, so we're going to do our pockets on the side. So we'll know that we have to put um, glue, bead of glue, making a U shape on this side. So hold that side with your finger, flip it over, and you'll know that you're putting the glue around all these sides around your fingers. That way we'll have that pocket to insert our four by fours. This way, and then this one's going to go in this pocket. This one's the last signature for this page, and then again, I know that this is where my insert's going to go on this side. Sorry, huh? My insert's going to go on this side, so I'll know. Hold my fingers right there, and all the way around my hand, I'm going to put my glue. I'm not sure why this camera angle. I've done everything to adjust it. I just don't know. I have to bring my old computer because I can't understand this um, Apple computer and the video recording system. I struggled with that the other day trying to get, I had to buy an app, two apps, because the first one I bought didn't work. Um, it would only let me record 40 seconds even though I paid for um, for this and it's like ah oh, apple is so complicating so burnish around that u shape and then we'll left with that and we'll glue up we'll clean up all the all the glue webs okay so then um i have cut this little piece here it's a little flap and that's gonna go over on this side here, I believe, yeah, here. I'm gonna put it on this side. Uh, it's the angle of the camera, it's not big enough. It's like, I don't know why. It's just not. Mm. I apologize, guys. You guys have to bear with me until I get adjusted to this camera. Okay, so I went ahead and used my undo to remove um, my little mat here, my little layered piece. Um, and what we're going to do, that'll dry clear. No worries about that. If you've never used undo, it's a fabulous, um, it's really good to remove any boo-boos like I've did done here. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> burnish it in because I do have... Um, the sticky adhesive on there. So 
go ahead and burnish and then I will remember that. Remember, hold the end where you want to put the glue, uh, where you don't want to put the glue. So I'm holding it here because I know that this area here, I don't want any glue. I'm going to put the glue on all the areas where I'm not holding it with my fingers, okay? So around here is where we're putting it and we'll glue it back down. No worries. All right. So again, it's going to go this way and I'm going to stand up so I can see what I'm doing. It's the fabulous thing about undo. If you make a boo-boo, you can always undo. Perfect day for boo-boos. And you're probably saying, well, now you got to write sideways. Well, that's okay. You write sideways. It's your book. You know, it's my book. If you don't want it this way, then make sure you do it the other way. But I wanted it so that when I'm flipping through, I'm seeing the month instead of looking on the top. Yeah. Just a personal preference. I don't know. You don't have to do it this way. But, all right, so this piece here is five and a quarter by five and three quarters five and a quarter by five and three quarters and we're scoring it at the half inch mark and at three and a half inch and then you're going to take two pieces of magnets and you're going to attach it like so you're going to fold one over like that and then this where your score tape goes you're going to fold that down and then you're going to take your decorative pieces um, and you're going to cut one at two and three quarters by five inch and that's going to go like so there and then you're going to cut another piece that is one and seven eighth by five inch and that one's going to go over here and i had lots of little scraps so i kind of cut those down um and so this one's going to go let's see what did i decide um i think i decided this one's going to go to this because I was short of paper so we were going to mount these two so that I have a little bit of paper for the back part of this here and so go ahead let's glue these down so that way I know what I'm doing sometimes we, we forget you know None of you guys can hear the cars here. But the cars are driving by. It's late at night anyway. It's like 8.43 at night. And I'm still recording. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and let's open this up. Lay this down. Stand up. Burnish all your corners, and we're going to do the same thing over here. to go here that's five inches and we could have done hugs and kisses because then we can talk there as well or hugs and kisses yeah, let's do hugs and kisses and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the little ends so we can make a little tuck spot those little pieces can go right in there. 
Oh, this is a little bit too big, but we can score this down. And then this one, we're going to bring it here. And again, just on each end so that we can have a little another another little tuck spot. So now we have two little tuck spots on each end. And then finally on this side, this will go here. If you got the eight by eight paper pack, you could probably use some more of those. And I do have those in the store. Um, because the way I'm doing it, oh, and I put, silly me, I put the, see, I'm talking, and I put it on, that's right. That's right. Um, you can probably use the 8x8 just to add it you know, have more decorative paper. I don't know about you guys, and it's going to be short on this because I made a boo-boo. And all right, let's do this one because I can fix this with another little strip. But this one, I need to just a little short on that paper. I was running low. I need to be the Bit of patchwork on that. So I said maybe having. I always like to have two two paper packs Let's see. because I'm always notorious for making boo-boos. This one here, I just kind of cut it a little bit short there because we were running low. So it's two and three eighth by five inches. And then this one's, of course, the little piece. And we're just gonna put that on there. Maybe not, let's see what I have. Hmm, <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta play here with scraps. And I might be able to just, Cut a strip of this. Yeah, we could do that. And I already have a strip, so um, this is just a piece of the extra piece of the cardstock I had. So I'm just gonna trim it down probably about a half of an inch. And that was just me. You guys probably don't have this kind of issue, but me, me, me. wasn't being careful. And resourceful. And that's alright because look, I think that looks perfect. And that's half inch by uh, five inches. And this is a little bit thicker cardstock, so I am going to use the fabric tuck. This just kind of gives you a, um, another way of creating with this kit. Of course, we all do it differently, and I'm sure you guys will probably have a different idea, a different version, and and that's okay. You know, we can all do it however we please. Um, and this is in your little sticker decorative pieces and I think I think if I put this here
That'll be cute. And no one will know. No one needs to know, right? There we go. No one needed to know. There was a boo boo there, right? And so over here, um, since this is more noticeable here, I think this will look cute. It'll be like that. And that could go, oh, that would be nice just like that. So, yeah. Or we could do it this way. No, I like the other way. So, let's glue that down. And this is from the collection. Yeah, I always like to buy two stacks of paper. Um, because, you know, you make a little boo-boo. Um, no one's perfect. Burnishing is very important, making sure nothing lifts up. And then on this, I'm just going to score that. And score it. And it's about a two inch that I scored it. And that way. You know, and pull it there. And then this is going to go on your album like so. It's going to sit right on the black cardstock, the outside. So just pull one in like that. Align it onto your cardstock, top and bottom. Make sure it's flushed against the edge of the, the base. Just like that. want I can take that sticker sheet that I had here and we can use the rest of the sticker for that piece there just to kind of decorate it up a little So then that'll pull like that. That'll come out like that. You can little journals there. You can touch something here. You got that there. And that snaps there. And you can, you know, journal here as well. Add pictures. Journal over here. And then over here, we have this one here. And I'm probably going to add, like, maybe a Velcro or something there to kind of close that in. Something. I don't know. I'll think of something. Maybe a Brad or something, you know. So that's that. And then you have the little pullouts here. Oops. On the side. Like so. So for the next pages, um which will be March, we are going to look at, um, I still have this one here. See, I could probably, maybe, what I'll probably do is I'll, you know, let's do that together. Um, so I'm, here's my magnets. thinking I'm going to do is
some of this down. I think what I'm going to do is on this one, we'll put one magnet right here, right? You'll never know that was, you know, a boo-boo, right? You won't tell on me. I know you won't. So we'll put that one here. So. And then we know that goes there, and we'll grab another piece of this. And then here, we'll go ahead and add the other magnet, or not the other magnet, the other stamp, guys, I'm sorry, you guys are thinking me, what are you talking about, what are you talking about, woman? Okay. We could put some, let's put some of this dimensional stuff around it. I should have done that over here. So I gotta get ready to go because hubby should pick me up and we'll continue March. It's almost the same concept, but I know you guys probably want to see me doing it. And that would give it a nice, cute little decorative look there, huh? Cute, 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 cute. And look, it snaps right in. So that'll hold rel really nice, relatively really nice. Um, and if I want to lift this up and put that little dimension, I can. But that'll snap right in there. It'll hold that in. And then we have this little guy here that goes on the other side of this here. And, of course, we'll use twine and stuff like that. But yeah, that looks pretty good. I think, at least I think so. And then of course we have the chipboard <clears throat> that came in the kit and we have the stickers. You can work with those. Um, you know, adding more embellishments as you go along. We'll work on March for our next part of the video. And on that one, we're using the scraps again for the belly band. Um, I wanted to show you guys before I head out um, that from the little um, packaging that was in your album I made this one for December I thought this was really cute so this is actually the little packaging insert that came in your little album and I just made this cute little trifold pull out out of that so just make sure you don't throw this little packaging insert that was in your album because we're going to be decorating that um, Towards, towards the end I'll show you how to do that okay so that's gonna be for December and so with the scraps I try to use the scraps for my um, cardstock I made this little belly band here and we'll use um, as much as we can so this is gonna be March so we've got February we've got January and we've got now um, February and now we're going to be working on March. And March, don't forget, we got to use those little squares. One goes here, but you'll have to cut a 4x4 cardstock for the other. 
and then we have a belly band so I think it looks overall I think it looks really really cute and you know we have this little piece here even if I wanted to perhaps make a corner let's see little corner somewhere here well, I guess not just a little extra scrap all right well that concludes for February hopefully I will try to get these two videos up um, so tomorrow I'll work on getting these videos today is Friday um, the 11th I believe so I will get these this up so that you guys can at least see January and February as I'm moving along um, with this album. I want to say that I did a little different than um, Graphic 45 did because I wanted to mat it and I wanted to give it a little bit more, you know, put a little bit more work in there, more little pulls and tucks and things like that. Um, and so and just keeping it more cohesive as far as making sure that we have the months on the edge so yeah i think it looks really really stinking adorable and as soon as i find my chipboard which i don't know where i have thrown it it's here somewhere in this messy messy desk i'm going to probably cut out one of the chipboard pieces and um for sure put it there but we'll we'll get more oh here it is We'll get more into the decorative part. Like if I wanted to put this Be Mine um, chipboard here. I wish they had little hearts. I could put this right here, you know. Um, I could probably put an eyelet in there and, you know, have that more moving. And I might just do that where it's more moving. Um, but yeah, you can definitely, definitely work around adding more embellishments towards the end as we get towards the end of it all. So now I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully tomorrow I will work on editing this video for you guys and I'll make sure that I send you guys the measurements and um, of my um, layouts and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till next time guys. Bye.